Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody there has said, Praise the Lord. Something is going to happen to you. Something good. Something unforgettable. Something you will always remember. The miracle you came for. In your soul. In your spirit. In your body. Is going to happen tonight. You will not go back through that gate you came through. As you came in Jesus name. Let's pray together. Father we thank you tonight. Thank you for all your people tonight. High and low. Men and women, boys and girls, miracle tonight, salvation tonight, healing tonight, deliverance tonight, bless everyone in Jesus' name. Confirm it in every life. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you he has answered your prayer. I'm reading from Luke chapter 1. Reading from verse 37. Luke chapter 1 verse 37. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Tonight, whatever your challenge may be, whatever your concern may be, whatever you have come for today, understand it in your heart. Register it in your soul. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. It was an angel that said that. And you know the angels know God. God more than human beings know God. And that angel came to Mary. As is that angel is coming today. Affirming and confirming the word. The angel that came from heaven. Gives us assurance tonight. And angels don't lie. He said for with God. Nothing shall be impossible. And there is somebody greater than an angel. Greater than all the angels put together. His name is Jesus. He's been from everlasting with God. And he knows God like nobody else knows God. He knows God like more than the angels know God. He knows God more than any prophet, any preacher knows God. And the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 19. Reading from verse 26. It says, But God beheld, but Jesus beheld them. And said unto them, With men this is impossible. But with God all things are possible. On the one hand, you have heard from the angel. And the angel confirmed and affirmed that with God nothing shall be impossible. That situation in your life right there tonight. God is is going to touch your life. It's going to transform your life. Because we know that mountain is going. Okay, that problem is going to be solved. Assurance above assurance. Assurance without any shadow of doubt. Assurance of the powerful manifestation of the power of God. But with God in your life, nothing shall be impossible. I see miracle coming your way there. I said I see miracle walking with your way there. And nothing will stop it. Nothing will hinder it. In your life tonight, say in my life tonight, nothing shall be impossible. And now Jesus explains to us and he says with men 
This is impossible. It's talking about something you have carried for a long time. And it appears you couldn't get an answer. And then you have said, I've gone here, I've gone there, I've gone everywhere. And it has been impossible. So Jesus said, with men that's true, this is impossible. But then he didn't close the sentence there. He comes to assure you. But with God, all things are possible. How many things are possible in your life today? All things. Somebody shout all things. Tonight all things are possible in your life. That little child, all things are possible tonight. That your wife, all things are possible tonight. That your husband, all things are possible tonight. Once you connect with the God of miracles, the God of power, the God of all possibilities, Jesus. something unforgettable will happen in your life tonight. Taking those two verses of scripture, one coming from the angel, the other coming from Jesus Christ. I'm talking to you tonight on connecting with the God of all possibilities. When we talk of all possibilities. We're talking about salvation. Salvation is possible tonight. I talk about all possibilities. Holiness is possible tonight. I talk about all possibilities. Sanctification is possible tonight. I talk about all possibilities. Healing is possible tonight. I talk about all possibilities. Your deliverance is possible tonight. I talk about all possibilities. The power of the Holy Ghost. The baptism in the Holy Ghost. Immersion in the Holy Ghost. Total transformation by the Holy Ghost is possible in your life tonight. I'm talking about all possibilities. Mountains will move away in your life. I talk about all possibilities. Something that is missing in your life will be supplied in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Connection. Connection. Somebody help me shout connection. Connection with the God of all possibilities. And tonight is that night. This moment is that moment. That those great possibilities will happen in your life. The three things we're looking at. Number one, creation through his supernatural power. Creation. God is going to do something today. He's always done that. Creation through his supernatural power. Number two is conversion through his saving power. Conversion, a turning around, a transformation, salvation, a new life, eternal life, conversion through his saving power. Number three, the kill of all sick people. Anybody expecting the cure there? Anybody expecting healing there? It's going to touch your body. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe. Healing has come. Welcome that healing. I said healing has come. Welcome your deliverance. Deliverance has come. Welcome your miracle. Miracle has come. 
Number one is creation. Number two is conversion. Number three is kill. It will do everything for you. As you listen to the word of God today, always remember with God nothing shall be impossible. Always remember that which is impossible with man is possible today with God. Number one, creation through his supernatural power. There is a passage in Jeremiah. Chapter 32. Jeremiah chapter 32. And here is the almighty God. Talking to you directly. Assuring your heart directly. That's in verse 27. It says, Behold, I am the Lord. The God of all flesh. Look at the introduction he gives himself. He says, If you have flesh there, is the God of all flesh. If the flesh is painful, is the God of all flesh. If the flesh is sick, is the God of all flesh. If the flesh is rotten, is the God of all flesh. He will do something on that flesh today. Look at that. It says, Behold. It says, Don't look here or look there. Center your affection on God tonight. Concentrate your face on God tonight. Look at Him in your mind's sight tonight. He says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? He says, what problem have you brought tonight? And you're battling with that problem. It appears you are powerless. You are helpless. And you are hopeless. And you say, what is going to happen? A miracle is going to happen. I said a miracle is going to happen. It's asking you the question. As you look at your mountain, as you look at your problem, as you look at your body, as you look at your pressure, as you look at those things I've been carrying about you, your life. Is anything too hard for me? What answer do you have to that question? What answer do you have to that question? What response do you have to that question? Nothing too hard for our God. I said nothing too hard for our God. Look at verse 17. Of that same Jeremiah chapter 32. Verse 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretch out arm, and there is nothing to hide for thee. Ah, Oluwa Lanu, whoa, you want your down on my ye, Nipa Baranare, at Nina Pare, Cosisium Kong. It's telling you that you need to be confident in God tonight. Jeremiah answered the Lord. He said, You are the creator of the heavens and the earth. You made the heavens, all the stars, and the moon, and the sun, and the sea, and the sun, and the grass. And when I look at everything you have made, before you made, Age anything. There was nothing. Everything was void and empty. And he didn't have any material to work with. And he just and he just said, Let there be. And there was no sun. No moon. And he said, Let there be light. And there was light. No sea. No ocean. No river. And he said, let there be sea. Everything came immediately. 
Tonight is going to come in your life. Am I talking to somebody there tonight? We had uh, something peculiar in Zambia. And uh, this uh, sister was going to close the door. But her pointing finger, she didn't know, was by that door. As she closed the door on the finger, the finger cut up and dropped on the ground. It was very painful for her. She ran to the nearby hospital and she said, my hand, my hand, help me, help me. And they said, where is the finger that the one that was cut up? And then he said he's at home because of the pain and because of the suddenness. She didn't take that with her. They said, Go back home. Go and take that finger that fell on the ground that was cut off. So she went back home. As she came back, they looked at everything. They said they couldn't sew that finger back because there were be infection. And you may have a greater problem. And so she went back home and she saw the wife of the national basier. That one encouraged her. I said, after all, it's not sickness. It's all deformity. And, and so that finger was like that. Even though she was healed, it was so short, shorter than the others. And then we were having a revival weekend here in Nigeria. And during the time of prayer, she stretched that cut finger in front of the screen. And then we prayed. After the prayer, you know what happened? The finger grew back. Look at what God can do. That's why we're saying tonight. Ah, Lord God. Behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth. By the great power that you have. And stretch out arms. And there is nothing too hard for thee. Tonight, nothing hard. I said in your life, nothing hard. In your family, nothing hard. A miracle is coming your way. A creative miracle. I said a creative miracle. Look at verse 19. Great in counsel. Mighty in war. That's God. That's our God. That's the God who is going to walk in your life tonight. Because he is great in counsel. And because he is mighty in war. Something mighty will happen in your life tonight. Something great will happen in your life tonight. How will it happen now? How are you going to happen? have it tonight. I will have my own tonight. Somebody there shout, I will have my own tonight. Look at Jeremiah chapter 33. And I'm reading from verse 2. It says the Lord, the maker thereof. The Lord that formed it. To establish it, the Lord is his name. He is still reminding us that God is creator. He will do creation work in your life tonight in Jesus' name. How will it happen? Look at verse 3. Call unto me. And I will answer thee. That's the assurance he's giving you. He says, call unto me. He says, there is no perhaps or maybe or shadow of doubt. I will answer you. That prayer you have been praying for a long time. Tonight is the coming of the answer. And it says, 
with assurance. Call unto me. And I will answer thee. I will answer thee. I will answer thee. He will answer me. Say it for yourself. He will answer me. You are going to pray tonight. It may be a one sentence prayer. Lord, forgive me. He will answer you. It may be a one sentence prayer. God save me tonight. He will answer you. Salvation has come tonight. Lord, sanctify me tonight. He will answer you, my dear brother. He will sanctify you tonight. God, fill me with the Holy Ghost tonight. My sister, this is the day of the baptism. He will answer you tonight. Deliver me tonight. Today is the day of the answer. Lord, give me a miracle tonight. Tonight is the night of your answer. Call unto me. And I will answer thee. And show thee great and mighty things. Plural. Plural. Great and mighty things which thou knowest not. This is going to be your day of miracles. The day of God's power in your life. Number one, creation through his supernatural power. Number two, his conversion through his saving power. You see, there's a way God wants us to be. There's a way he created us. He said, let us make man in our image. And you know God is love. He created us in love until we went astray and hatred came into our lives. Let us make man in our image. And you know God is light. In him is no darkness at all. Until we went astray. And now we went into darkness. He says let us make man in our image. You know God is holy. Until we went into to sin. And now we are defiled. Now we are sinful. Now we are dark. Now we have violence. Now we fight. Now we have hatred. But it's going to return us back to where we used to be. That's what we call conversion. Light will come in your heart. Love will come in your heart. I was waiting for an amen in that corner. Power will come in your life. We created in power. Created in love. Created with eternal life. Until Adam and Eve backslid and sinned and went astray. That's why Jesus came to return us to where we were created originally. Look at Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 8. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity. So that sin will not be there anymore. So that iniquity will not be there anymore. So that violence will not be there anymore. So that drunkenness will not be there anymore. So that evil will not be in our lives anymore. Tonight it will convert you. I said tonight it will change your life. Tonight it will cleanse your life. Tonight it will set you free. Maybe you try to do good by yourself. 
You're trying to turn a new leaf by yourself. You're trying to reform your own life. You have made resolutions. I will not do that again. I will not say that again. I will not go there again. I will not drink that sin again. I will not tell lies anymore. But the things you wanted to do, you could not do. And the things you didn't want to do, that's what you did. Because you could not cleanse yourself. You could not convert yourself. You could not change yourself. But tonight, the power of God will come from heaven. Am I talking to somebody there tonight? I said the power of God will come tonight. Number one, for Forgiveness will come to you. I thought somebody there will say amen. Number two, freedom will come to you. Any amen from your side over there? Conversion will come to your life tonight. Transformation will come to your life tonight. The power of salvation will come in your soul tonight. How will that come? You call upon the Lord. And you don't have to call for a long, long time. Have you seen the people that got saved in the New Testament? Zacchaeus got saved the same day he met the Lord Jesus Christ. The people, 3,000 of them on the day of Pentecost, got saved the moment they had the word of God, the gospel. And the eunuch you know, on the way to Ethiopia got saved the moment he had the word of God. The Philippian jailer got saved that same first time he was hearing the gospel. You are getting saved today. I said you are getting saved today. Because the word of God says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. There's no discrimination. There is no go and come. Because Jesus paid the price on the cross of Calvary. It is not what you do now that gets you saved. It's what he has done. And he said, it is finished. He said, your salvation is now available. The moment you turn away from your sin, you say, I'm sorry for my past. I'm sorry for what I've done. Lord, I come unto you. I want forgiveness. I want freedom. I want conversion. I want salvation. Also, ever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Look at that verse 8 again. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity. Whereby they have sinned against me. I will pardon all their iniquities. You know some people, the way they think, I have a bout, I have many sins. More than 100. I come to the crusade today. He will forgive me about 10 of them. When I attend another crusade, another 10. He will forgive me another 10. Another year, another crusade may come. He will forgive me maybe another 10. I keep on coming. I keep on coming. I keep on coming. And then he will eventually maybe before I die in another 40, 50 years he will forgive me everything no didn't you hear what Jesus said he must be born again now when we are born it's not that today 
the hand is born and then next week the legs are born and then the following month the head is born little by little by little gradually different parts of the body will be born until the whole baby is born no not at all the same thing in the spiritual when you are born again it is at a moment of time when your sins are forgiven everything completely is at a moment of time when all your transgressions are taken away. All your sins are taken away. When Calvary regards you as a child of God, it's at a moment of time. And today is your day. Somebody there said, Today is your day. Verse 8, and I will cleanse them from all the iniquity whereby they have sinned against me. Look at this, I will pardon all the iniquities whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me. Praise the Lord, forgiveness has come. Praise the Lord, salvation has come. Let me show you something. Look at Jeremiah chapter 17. I'm reading from verse 14. Jeremiah chapter 17. Reading from verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. You see that? There's nothing in between the prayer and the answer. The prayer, heal me, O Lord. The answer, and I shall be healed. When you pray, tonight God will answer. Look at the second part of that verse. And he says, save me, and I shall be saved. There is no gap between them. The prayer is, save me. Give me salvation. Forgive my sin. Change my life. Convert me. And there is no waiting. There is no interval. It says, and I shall be saved. Somebody in there tonight is getting saved. Where is he? I said, where is she? You are going to be saved tonight. The moment you tell the Lord, it will be done. I'll say for Number one, Ekeni? creation through a supernatural power. Number two, conversion through a saving power. I'm coming to point number three now. And it's the cure for all sick people. The cure for how many people? Are you included there? Are you going to be healed tonight? I said, are you going to be healed tonight? Or is your case impossible with God? Thank God my case is possible. I said it's possible. I said it's possible. It will be done in your life tonight in Jesus' name. We're coming to the key of all people. I'm still in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6. Behold, I will bring it health and kill. He said, he's coming to you tonight. And when he gets to you tonight, lo and behold, health and kill. Healing and recovery. Deliverance and power. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Obarika. You are healed tonight in Jesus' name. And behold, I will bring it health and cure. I will kill them. I will kill them. Not only one person, everybody, I will kill them. And I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Your own time has come. Thank God my time has come. I said my time has come. Look at Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17. For I will restore health unto thee. Unto thee. Unto thee, you are the candidate tonight. You are the receiver recipient tonight. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Any wound internal, cancer there. You'll be healed tonight. All Sunday, you'll be healed tonight. The sword that has been there that refuses to be healed. Tonight you are going to be healed. HIV AIDS. You are going to be healed tonight. Ruptured ear, deaf ear, you are going to be healed tonight. Broken leg, short leg, you are going to be healed tonight. Paralysis or stroke, you are going to be healed tonight. For I will restore health unto thee. I will kill thee of thy wounds. Look at verse 22. And ye shall be my people. And I will be your God. Ye shall be my people. And I will be your God. Tonight a change has come. Your miracle has come. Salvation for you tonight. Healing for you tonight. Deliverance for you tonight. Power for you tonight. Hope for you tonight. The goodness of God for you tonight. I'm looking at uh, Jeremiah chapter 17. I'm reading from verse 14 again. Look at this now. And this is your prayer tonight. Tonight, and that prayer is going to be answered for you. I'll sit down, Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. You are taking your miracle back home today. Those blind eyes will open tonight. That's world in tummy will be flat tonight. And that challenge your life is going to be removed tonight. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Look at the other part of the prayer. Save me, and I shall be saved. There are two things to find there. There's salvation there. And everyone can call upon the name of the Lord and shout to the Lord and mean it to the depth of your heart. Save me and I shall be saved. And then the other part of the prayer heal me and I shall be healed. The Lord is going to do it for you tonight. Are you there tonight? Are you expecting? Your expectation will come to realization. We're going to pray. And you are going to pray. Will God answer your prayer tonight? What are you if you are sure God is going to answer your prayer? God is going to answer your prayer. God is going to answer your prayer. You, answer your prayer. you put joy in your heart. Miracle upon your life tonight. Ex bowed and eyes closed. Ex bowed and eyes closed. We're going to settle this salvation issue right. 
right now. It's the forgiveness of your sin. It's the conversion of your soul. It's a change in your life. Tonight, he wants to write your name in the book of life in heaven. He wants to turn your life around. He wants to make your life better. He wants to take guilt and condemnation away from your life. If you want that salvation tonight, and you're saying, Oh Lord, here I am. I want your salvation. I want your forgiveness. I want your eternal life. I want my name in the book of life. If you are telling the Lord now, Save me and I shall be saved. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. I want salvation. I want forgiveness. I want freedom from my sin. Where are you? Where are you? He wants to save you. He wants to forgive you. He wants to take condemnation away from your life. You raise up that hand. Praise the Lord for that hand. Thank God for that night. Thanks. Salvation is coming your way. Forgiveness is coming your way. If you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. You say, I stand up because I want your salvation. Raise up that hand and uh, stand up. Jesus said, You serve, I shall ashamed of me. Here now in this generation, I'll be ashamed of him over there when he comes to, in the yonder place. You cannot get to heaven if you're ashamed of Christ. But if you want salvation, and you're saying, Jesus is my Savior, Jesus will forgive me tonight. He has promised me I will cleanse them from all the iniquity. And you want that cleansing now? You want that conversion now? Raise up your hand and stand up. While you are standing up, tell the Lord right there. Tell the Lord right there. Lord, I want your salvation tonight. Lord, I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. But I need salvation. I know without salvation I cannot get to heaven. I know without salvation tell the Lord, tell the Lord. I know without salvation I cannot have peace of mind. I cannot have that forgiveness. I cannot have the freedom. But I want the freedom. I want your grace tonight. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord. I turn away from my sin. Tell the Lord, I turn away from the evil in my life. I repent. I repent. I repent. I, repent. I will no more go there again. I will no more do those bad things anymore. Forgive me, Lord. Tell him, tell him. Forgive me, Lord. Change my life. Give me the grace now to live in newness of life. He's doing it now. He's doing it now. I'm going to pray with you now. If you have done that sincerely, you confess your sin, you've turned away from your sin, you've asked the Lord Jesus to save you. And you say, I believe Jesus is the only Savior. I'm going to pray for you now. Keep on standing and keep on raising up your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, I pray for all those who have turned away from their sin. All those who have called upon the name of the Lord. According to your promise, forgive their sins. According to your promise, have mercy on them. According to your promise, give them your grace right now. According to your promise, save them in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, Lord, for the answer. I know you have done it. Because we have prayed in Jesus' name. Remember that the Almighty God has said there is nothing impossible for him. And tonight in your life, tonight in your body, tonight as we pray, nothing is impossible. Your healing has come. My healing has come. My healing has come. My deliverance has come. He has said, Behold, I will bring it health and cure. I will cure them. All of them. All of them. I will cure them. I reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. If you want healing, you raise up your hand. Miracle, you raise up your hand. You want deliverance, you raise up your hand. You want the power of God to touch your life, you raise up your hand. And you lay your hand on the other place where you have the challenge. And then we're going to pray. Any prayer we offer in the name of Jesus is always answered. And when you say Amen, that means it is so. And when you hear the final Amen, you open your eyes, you check up yourself, your miracle will be there. And then you will come out to give your testimony. You want a miracle of healing or deliverance to raise up your hand? Lay your hand where you have the challenge. The miracle healing is coming now. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because we know you are here. You have given us a promise. And the promise cannot fail. The angel has assured us that we God all things are possible. Possible. Our own uh, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has given us assurance that with men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Lord, I'm asking, touch every life now and make it possible in Jesus' name. From the top of the air to the tip of their toe. Manifest your power. Let there be healing now in Jesus' name. Any spirit of insanity of madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Any tormenting spirit walking about in the body, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Every curse in your life, every yoke in your life, every mountain in your life, get out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any pain in their body. That pain come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have cancer. For the swelling of the cancer. That pain of cancer, that bleeding of cancer, that swelling of cancer. Be healed in Jesus' name. Those who have also be healed in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS be healed in Jesus' name. HIV be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are bleeding, be healed in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that any swelling of the hunchback and elephantiasis be healed in Jesus' name. 
And he vanish away in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have deafness. Those ears that are there be opened in Jesus' name. Tongues that are tied, you couldn't speak. Speak out in Jesus' name. Those who are blind, I pray that your blind eyes will open. Glaucoma be healed in Jesus' name. Cataract be healed in Jesus' name. The deepness of our eyes go out in Jesus' name. Those who have stroke. I send the power of God upon your body now. Stroke, be healed in Jesus' name. Broken bones, join together, be strong, walk in Jesus' name. One leg shorter than the other, that short leg, go out in Jesus' name. We that hands be made whole in Jesus' name. Paralyzed people get strength, rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Everywhere in the stadium now, I send your healing to you. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your miracle. Do what you could not do before. You are cured. You are delivered. Power has come in your life. Miracle everywhere. Healing everywhere. Deliverance everywhere. Thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. You have got it. I said you have got it. Now you do what you could not do before. Come and give your testimony. The power of God is there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Oh. Ah, hallelujah. Our sister is giving testimony. How God raised her up. She has been walking with the stick for more than five years. And she has walked about. But thank God, after the prayer of the man of God, there is perfect wholeness and health. You can see Praise that. the Lord. Glory to the Lord. She's giving glory to the name of the Lord. Your healing Lord. will be permanent in Jesus' name. Put your hand together and clap for Jesus. Next is the fire. Praise the Lord. We see the person who has been paralyzed is now walking. God has done it. Yes. My name is Justina Jue from Ajakuta. In 2016, I came to this place with a problem. I had a dream they conduct a family planning to me, and they said that I will not go for 10 years. Then I came to this place when they invite me. But after the man declaration, the family planning disappeared. I didn't feel the pain again, and after that day, I conceive and I deliver my baby. This is the baby. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, don't go, don't go. What's the name of the baby? Delight Jewel. Delight Jewel. How old is the baby now? One year and three months. One year and three months. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's a miracle baby. Hallelujah. 
ti gbogbo re se qurani omo ti olorun de fun won ni delight eke alleluia my name is isaka i come here for for before i cannot be able to stand up where and if i want to move i be fall but now i thank god be no mas mo who brought you can you tell us his condition his condition is he can he cannot walk he can't even stand but thank god now he cannot he cannot even walk on his own he cannot yes, stand yes. but now now he can stand he can where walk. did you which side did you come from is it this side or this side Uh, so you came down with her and you could walk to this place. Yes. That miracle is permanent. Amen. He, he has been down completely. He can't, can't even stand or walk on his own. Now he can start. Oh, yeah, start, uh, start walking now. When you come here, for a long time, you have never walked before. You can see now. Everybody, so put your hand together for Jesus. Jesus. Go home with your miracle. Go home with your miracle. Bye. Kotele tide. Koto kukoni. Remember to. Bye. Remember. Ola unti se se yanuna. Remember. Oti de drosi yone. Remember to continue with Jesus. Testify to Christ with Jesus. Another testify. And the man. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. My name is Miss Grace Joel. So I have this long-standing problem. In fact, I I I have been having leg problem right from my childhood. I have an accident. So since when the leg has been operated, I still have boys and I still have and and uh, after the leg was operated i i discovered that i now have one leg shorter than the other and aside that the bone marrow normally pay me and i'll be having ache on my chest but after the so when i was climbing the staircase this evening i discovered that the bone marrow started aching me and my chest was aching me so after the man of god finished praying the bone stopped paining me and Amen. i believe that my miracle is going to be permanent and from tonight god almighty will visit me and this leg that is shorter i believe that before i leave here this evening i will receive my healing in permanent in jesus name you are receiving your leg it is yours already what is that right now i say it is yours already oh it by was there now can you jump for joy Amen. Amen. Okay, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. Won ni soro ti won ni ni pe won ni soro nu egungun o ma nro awon. Ese kan si kuruju e keji lo sugbon. Ni igba te eyan Olorun fi ngba dura. Gbogbo irora inu egungun na ti pora. Awon si gbagbo pe ese to kuru si keji keji lo. Gbogbo re na lo nti gba ise iya nu na. Okay, hallelujah. Next testify. Hello, mira. Let the mother talk. Ki mama re soro. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oru ya kini ele for Jesus Christ. Odu mi si Regina Emmanuel Baji Ukulo. Ukolo kan yo se mi le si o ma ki da gulo kide odo kele. Akanya kide e wa lude. Alu Jesus kide odo keta imu bete. Jesus kide odo keta ibete. Si ko mele ka lo ola gbiti gbo loki ni kele balasi nu. But oyo tu ko lo un eku ojo se yin ni. Ojo sha na edu gbi tola lu sha na ele ti ki a le kuru bile ojo ki sele kinu gba e foru Jesus Christ praise the lord we want interpretation please interpreter yes tell us what happened praise the lord this is uh, from me baji local government and the name of the daughter is hope emmanuel is 7 years old 3 years after when 3 years after her birth there was no problem But four years ago, he became crippled, and uh, since then he was, has been working on a uh, uh, palms and the uh, knees. But when he came here tonight, after the ministration of the man of God, the last amen. Then he stood up and he started working. Here is the FUC. Can you working. see? Can you see what God has done? She has, been, she has been working on on, on, on four legs. Now the girl is working. One I am telling you, God is marvelous. Put your hand together again. Can you, can, can you shout a loud amen? Amen. La. He said, "Yanu ti Allah nse fo omo e aso fun wa pe o ti pe omo dun meje bayi." Ni examine your body the miracle is going on. Igba ta ti bi omo na odun meta akoko ko si soro leyin na omo na wa yi aro ko le ni o nfo wo fa ni sugbon ni asale leyin adura e ri omo na o ti dide obe si rin e ke hallelujah. Put your hand again together for Jesus. Yes, another testifier. Erimina. 
Hallelujah. My name is Omodara Precious. Last week I had an accident. So they had to cast my leg and I was walking with this stick. But now, after the prayer, I was no longer feeling pain. Now I can walk well. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. My you know, daughter has a fracture. Has a fracture. I believe that the pain has gone. Go back you to the hospital. Tila. They will examine you and they discover everything is gone. They, they, they lose you and go your, and enjoy your, you enjoy your miracle. Lord, see, there are you. You can walk. Don't be too scared. You will go for it. Move to where the basic basic. You know, you are my God. Don't you? Next, the fire. Every minute. Epe mi kwa Maria wa nene. Epe mi kwa Maria wa. Ira Maria is his own. And yes, was the Lord of Heaven. Who never knew what I was doing. Umana da is even no man a pray who you know. Ah, young woman, ma, the man who knows the man girl a hair tie. Ada is even no man a me poda ni poda ni la man a me de mika. Me ka yo mo di ka me man de na na. Me mani va no kahi o mo ri amra kan ya me pe do ni bare mani ehi ada me mani badu wa dile makene no mo ri o se konyana ni le teni de pe mu ku o mo ri abo ni ni e gwa ho wa a jina no ni ira so do ba le mi no ro ko me wo badu wa dile ma so na abo no ra ni le teni ma nya do ka mi me ra mi da na ba ba mi ra do no o ba mo ri ma lai win ni le hi jesu e pe mu ku o mo ri abo e pe mu ku o mo ri abo e pe mu ku o mo ri abo Hold on, hold, let, let's hear what, let, let's hear the interpretation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 19, 2016, when our father and Lord came to this place, he was sick for three years. After the prayer, that sickness went away. He became healed. So, so yesterday, he has been he started having terrible headache before he came here. But after the prayer, the headache is gone. That's okay, hallelujah. Oh. E ri meji ni won ni won ni saju akoko ti alakoso wa wa won ti wa lori aisan olodun meta sugbon leyin adura ni akoko na o gba iwo san re won si dupe lowo olodun pe ni asale yi o e fori jo tin yo won lenu leyin adura gbogbo re ko ra eke haleluya yes next is fire please praise the lord i had fibro for almost 5 years i was about to go for operation But I just visited my sister, and they invited me to come for this program. While the man of God was praying, he asked us to touch, and I try. Even right now, I'm trying to touch it. Before, if I touch it, I'll be feeling pains. I just the thing just disappear. Hallelujah! Amen. How long has the thing been there? Five years ago. Five years. Yes. Five But you believe now that the thing is no longer there? Yes. Come and touch it. The property of the devil has been taken away. Amen. 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 Five rods taken away. One one to call all along. We for the man on one knee. You need no one to come. One to see you. One is that the next one to call all along. We lay a dra. Bo boy, Rora, Tibo boy, Tibo boy, Rapa, Kosi, Kakambe, Ma. Eke, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Esther. Since on on Friday I was in FMC because I had pneumonia symptoms. Then on Saturday morning because I had crisis overnight I had to go back. So I was given drugs. So I've been treating it. But yesterday I was forced to phone a doctor again because I wasn't understanding the way I was feeling. So he recommended a drug which I rushed to go and buy. It cost me about 1,300. So I've been using the drug. But this evening when I was coming I wanted to go back again to pick my sweater and be. Fully dressed, but I got started to apply it, so I came. I sat down over there, and the breeze was quite much. So I was trying to use my my hand to guide my heart because to prevent coldness. But as the man of God was praying, I raised my left hand up with a prayer request in it, and I put my right hand on my chest. But I immediately finished praying, I felt warmth from within, and it circulated my body, and I began to sweat. I want to give God praise for his healing. Praise the Lord. Eke hallelujah o. Won won dupe lowo Olorun tori pe ka to wa si yin, won ni otutu aya. E to je pe o gba o pe nrati pe dokita, e to so fun won ogun to e kan ra ti won lo. Mo se nbo na na si awari pe da yin pe otutu na fe si won, sugbon won fi igbagbo wa. Won dupe lowo Olorun tori pe ngba ti adari fi gba adura. Be ni ara won mo oru, 
be o tutu aya se porani e ke alleluia forever you are healed in jesus name awo san patapata ni oruko ti jesu next testify praise the living god hallelujah i'm grateful that i have the privilege to be among the children of god this night it started like this most i am blessed by name i do work towards cop webs it has been a challenge to me So recently I noticed that I will even be inside, not even moving. I will feel the effect of cobwebs on me, especially on my face. I will be feeling the inches. I feel that the cobwebs is on my face. So this evening when I was coming, it started again. I started praying from the gate. I started praying. I said, God, deliver me from the attack. I don't know what it is. So immediately I just reached where I wanted to sit and they gave me the flyers. Immediately I will be joy. I use it. I will wipe my face. And since that time till now, I did not feel that corporate attack on my face. When I was sitting there, that testimony was going on. I say, God, I want to come at this. I'm grateful because I'm free forever in Jesus. Praise the living God. Eri Arabi ni wa ni ko lohun dupe lohun to ri pe awari pe ni gba gbogbo ni alanta ko ma nta si ohun ni oju ati ni ara. Cancelor select just one. Bi o lo ni oju ona ti ohun kan wa. Oni sugbon ngba ti ohun de bi ni ketete fun ni iwe eto na. O n fi gbagbo fira oju ohun bi gbogbo re se Qur'ani to wa jeri eke alleluia Give the microphone to mama What has God done for you Praise the Lord Hallelujah Me gba my name is Ramatu Ramatu Moru Me gba abo mi osugbe do ojo Ojo kinu wa Onu gbe mi me no mi se ni ejela <laughs> Ude ho oli unoli ni emi na lulule oli le won ajo gba ni ugwa ki se ojo praise the lord me gba eh ugo epo ejo anyigba ejo anyigba o ko emi e but yin mi deju ti anyigba ba bo ya yin wa o o do mele pe ya yin wa ni Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our sister Ramatu testified that she was having high blood pressure. And when she was taken to the hospital, they gave her drips. After the drips, it affected her. She could no longer walk. She has been walking by walking stick for the past four years. But this evening, when they brought her from Ayangba to this place, after the prayer of the band of God, She threw away the walking stick and walked from where she was staying down to this place. And he's saying that by the grace of God, God has healed her of uh, that high blood pressure and also ability to walk. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Eri arabini wa ni pe o ni ejeru ru won gbe won lo sile gbo kun lati fa omi si won lara. Gbo odun melo kan bayi won ti nfi oparin. Sugbon opa ni fo Olorun pe leyin adura ni asale e. Mo se dide tun won rin ni won si gba gbo pe won ti gba ewo san won eke alleluia